welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar we have already studied at sandhi hal sandhi and visarga sandhi we have also studied some part of the swadi sandhi and we continue to study the next part of the swadi sandhi in this particular lecture what is a swadi sandhi swadi sandhi is a sandhi which substitutes the swadi suffixes su adi suffixes and this substitution happens in the specific environment of deriving a final finished form called pad which is embedded in the derivation of a sentence so here we have a template structure of a sentence in which there are three small square brackets within two big square brackets these three square brackets within the two represent the padas each pada internally is composed of a prakriti and a pratyaya with the plus sign indicating the combining of both of them so the prakriti and the pratyaya they make up a pada and the padas make up a sentence as we have already seen the definition of vakya is ekating vakyam so there has to be one thing at least in the padas in the pratyayas so there is one pratyaya which is thing and the other pratyayas are sup and the prakritis of thing and sup are dhatu and pratipadika respectively dhatu is mentioned as dha and pratipadika is mentioned as pra on the slide so this template structure of a sentence gives us the picture of the pratyayas sup sup and thing on the right hand side of the prakriti in the pad so this sup is called swadi over here so if we consider this as a generic template of the sentence representing the earlier mentioned specific form of a sentence we see that the right hand side which is a pratyaya which is a sup pratyaya over here has got a final element which comes into contact with the first element in the second pada this is the prakriti element similarly the sup in the second pada comes into contact with the first element of the third pada and then this final element in the second pada and also in the first pada this gets modified by another element over here and also over here this is modified in the environment of the first element in the second pada and this is modified because of the first element in the third pada this is precisely what is called as swadi sandhi this is what we have been studying so far so swadi is generally referring to a vibhakti defined by 14104 vibhakti means sup and thing sup are 21 suffixes which are added after a pratipadika or a nominal root and are stated in 412 and thing suffixes they are added after a verbal root or dhatu and they are stated in 3478 
The term vibhakti also applies to some other suffixes, thral, etc. But as far as swadi is concerned, they are only sup and things. So what is a swadi sandhi once again? If you have ramas plus gramam plus nayati, three padas, where sa occurs at the end of the first pada, followed by g in the second pada. So this sa gets substituted by ru first, then u, then a and u gets substituted by o and so we have ramo, gramam gachati or nayati. Similarly, ramena gramas gamyate, once again sa comes at the end of the second pada followed by ga in gamyate. So the same process happens and sa is substituted first by ru, then by u, then a and u get substituted by o and we have ramena gramo gamyate as a sentence. These are the concrete examples of the Swadhi Sandhi and there are plenty of examples in the literature of this particular Swadhi Sandhi. These are the sutras dealing with the Swadhi Sandhi, Sasajusho Ruhu, Atorora Plutada Plute and Hashicha. This we had seen before. In the previous lecture we also saw Bhobhagoga Apurvasya Yoshi and part of Ali Sarvesham. And we also looked at a part of Bhobhagogo Apurvasya Yoshi. So Apurva in 8.317 means the Ru which is preceded by A. And by the word A, by the sound A, all 18 varieties are referred to and so short a as well as long a, they both are the conditions, the environments for this sandhi to take place. And in the previous lecture we saw examples where a was the environment, short a was the environment. What remains to be seen is when a is the left hand side environment, what happens to a? And this is what we are going to see in this particular lecture. So part of Hali Sarve Sham is what we are going to study in this lecture. And then there are some other sutras, some exceptions that we also study in this particular lecture. Namely, Ro Supi, Rori, Dhralope Purvasya Dirghodaha, Etatta Dosulopo Akoranai Samase Hali, Sochilopechet Padapuranam, Pratamayo Purva Savaranaha and Nadichi. Let us first study Bhobhagogo Apurvasya Yoshi. So Bhobhagogo Apurvasya Yoshi is 8317. Bhobhagogo Apurvasya Yoshi is 8317. And this sutra means immediately before rush, that is all vowels plus h plus semi vowels plus consonants 5, 4 and 3 in place of ru which comes immediately after a and which is also a part of bhos, bhagos and aghos is substituted by ya. I repeat immediately before ash all vowels plus h plus semi vowels plus class consonants 5, 4 and 3 in place of ru which comes immediately after a and which is also a part of bhos, bhagos and aghos is substituted by here. So here are the examples. We have as plus ash, this is the input where sa appears at the end of this pada followed by preceded by a. Earlier we had seen examples where this sa was preceded by short a. Now we have long a. So as plus ash 
this sir gets substituted by ru. So, we have ru plus ash. Now, 8317 applies and substitutes this ru by year, i plus ash. This is the example. Then what happens? That next stage is what we are going to study now. So, we have lopas shakalyasya 8319 which applies over here which says that immediately before ash in place of ya and wa which come immediately after a substitute zero or deletion in the view of the grammarian shakalya. In a nutshell this is the view only of shakalya and not of any other grammarian especially panini and therefore this is an option. So to reread the meaning of the sutra is immediately before ash in place of ya and wa which come immediately after a substitute zero or deletion optionally. So to put it in the form of an equation we can say that if a plus ya or wa plus ash if this is the environment then in place of ya or wa substitute 0 that means delete them. So, you will get the output a plus 0 plus ash and this is however optional output in the other option this particular form will be retained. And since ash also consists of consonants here is another sutra which says hali sarvesham which also applies in the same environment. So, it says that in view of all grammarians in place of ya which comes immediately after a and which is part of bhos, bhagos and agos substitute 0 or deletion. I repeat in view of all grammarians in place of ya which comes immediately after a and which is part of bhos, bhagos and agos substitute 0 or deletion. So, to put it in the form of an equation we can say that bho bhago agho a plus ya plus hal eventually this means hush and then the output generated is bho bhago agho a plus 0 plus hal eventually hush. So, this is how the two sutras Lopashakalyasya and Hali Sarvesham will apply and the end result would be something like this. On the left hand side we see Ach as the right hand side environment which is of course part of Ash and on the right hand side we see Hush as the right hand side environment which is also the remaining part of Ash in the environment of which ru is substituted by ya. So, let us look at the left hand side first. If you have bho slash bhago slash agho slash a plus ya plus ach. This is the input and the sutra bho bhago agho apurvasya yoshi 8317 applies and substitutes this ya by 0. and this is done optionally. So, you can get this form as optional form as well. And now when we turn to the right hand side on the slide we see that bho slash bhago slash agho slash a plus ya plus hal that is hush. In this case ya gets substituted by 0 permanently by all in view of all grammarians. So, this is the output and there is no optional form when hush follows. There are some other sutras which we are not dealing with in this particular course which also tell us that this year over here, this year and the earlier this year they also become laghu prayatna tara and so on that we reserve for the 
next level course. Now here are the template examples. First we take the examples where H is the right hand side environment. So we have R plus H as the basic input. This sir gets substituted by ru, so we have ru plus h and this ru gets substituted by y, so we have i plus h and then this i plus h becomes the input and then what happens? Then this y gets substituted by 0 optionally, this is what states these, this particular set of examples, template examples. Let us look at it one by one. So first we have as plus a and then sir becomes ru, ru plus a, then i plus a and then this year gets optionally deleted. So we have 0 plus r 0 plus a slash i plus a as a returned example. Similarly as plus r and we have ru plus r and then i plus r and then R0 plus R optionally. Similarly, R plus E is the input and then RU plus E is the next derived state. Then I plus E is the next derived state. RU is derived by Sasajisho Ruhu. Ye is substituting RU by Bhobhogogho Apurvasya Yoshi and then Lopashakalyasya applies and this year gets optionally deleted. So we have R0E optionally. Then you have R plus U and then next RU plus U, then I plus U and then we have R0 plus U optionally. Similarly, R plus RU is the basic input from which is derived ru plus ru and then i plus ru and then r0 plus ru optionally. Then we have r plus lu and ru plus lu then i plus lu and finally r0 plus lu optionally. Similarly r plus a is the basic input from which is generated R plus A, from it is generated I plus A and then Lopashakalyasya applies and substitutes this year by 0, so we get R0 plus A optionally. Similarly, R plus O and it gets substituted by R plus O and then I plus O and then this year gets substituted by 0. So we have R0 plus O optionally derived form. Then we have R plus I as the basic input from which is derived RU plus I. Then RU is substituted by Y. So I plus I and then Lopashakalyasya applies and substitutes this year by 0. So we have R0 plus I optionally. And finally, R plus O is the basic input from which is derived R plus O, then I plus O and finally R0 plus O optionally. These are the template examples. And now let us study the concrete specific examples which illustrate these templates. So first of all, let us look at as plus a, as plus a, and here are the cases. Devas plus api. In this case, sa becomes ru, ru then becomes ya, and then this ya gets optionally deleted, and we have deva plus api as optionally derived form. Then we have devas plus ahu, where as is followed by a, then sa is substituted by ru, ru by ya, and this ya is optionally deleted. So you have deva ahu. Similarly, devas plus iha, where as is followed by e, 
sa is substituted by ru then by ya and finally this ya is deleted or substituted by zero so we have deva plus iha optionally then we have devas plus uta where sa is substituted by ru then by ya and finally this ya gets optionally deleted so we get deva uta optionally similarly deva ritam devas plus ritam is the basic input sa is substituted by ru ru is substituted by ya and then finally this ya gets deleted and you get the form deva ritam optionally then we have devas plus lokaram sa so is then substituted by ru then by ya and finally ya is optionally deleted so we have deva plus lokaram this is optionally derived form similarly devas plus edhante and we have deva ru plus edhante then ru is substituted by ya and then ya is optionally deleted by zero and so we get the form deva edhante then we have devas plus om and then sa is substituted first by ru then by ya and then this ya gets deleted and so we get the form deva plus om optionally then deva plus aikyam so devas is the basic input devas plus aikyam sa gets substituted by ru by sasajusho ru 8266 then ru gets substituted by ya bho bhagwa ho apurvasya yoshi 8317 and then this ya gets deleted optionally by lopashakalyasya 8319 so we get deva plus aikyam with ya deleted or devai aikyam with ya retained similarly devas plus aushadham so is substituted by ru ru by ya and then ya get option gets optionally deleted so we get deva plus aushadham optionally similarly bhos plus atman and sa gets substituted by ru ru by ya and ya is finally optionally deleted so we have bho atman similarly bhagos plus atman and sa is substituted by ru ru by ya and then ya is optionally deleted so we get bhago atman and finally aghos plus atman sa is substituted by ru by the sutra sasajusho ru ru is substituted by ya by the sutra bho bhago agho apurvasya yoshi and then ya gets optionally deleted by the sutra lopashakalyasya so we have agho plus atman optionally now we have as plus hash we have seen as plus ach we already stated that if as is followed by ash so is substituted by ya now we have seen the examples where as was followed by ach now we have the example where as is followed by hash and then sa is substituted by ru so aru plus hash is the next step derived then from this we derive i plus hash and then we apply hali sarvesham and so this year gets deleted in view of all the grammarians so there is no option so here is the equation of this as plus hash so gets substituted by ru ru by ya and then ya gets deleted ya gets zero substitution and there is no 
optional form. Here are the examples. First is Shivas plus Hasanti where H follows As. Sa appears at the end of the Pada. So Sasajushoru who applies and then we get Shivaru plus Hasanti. Then Ru gets substituted by Y. So we get Shivaya plus Hasanti by the Sutra Bhobhagavago Apurvasya Yoshi. And then this Y gets deleted permanently. And so we get only one form Shiva Hasanti. Similarly, Shivas plus Yanti. So is substituted by Ru, Ru by Y, and then finally Shiva Yanti. Then we have Shivas plus Vandyaha. And then Sir so gets substituted by Ru, Ru by Y. Then we get Y deleted. And so we get Shiva Vandyaha. Then we have Shivas plus Ramaha. So we have Shivaru plus Ramaha. Ru is substituted by Y. So Shivaya plus Ramaha. Y is optionally deleted. So we have Shivaya Ramaha and Shiva Ramaha. Then we have Shiva Labhaha. The input is Shivas Labhaha. Sa is substituted by Ru. Ru by Y and finally Y is permanently deleted. So we get Shiva Labhaha. Then we have Shivas plus Nyongo Vire where Sa is followed by Hash namely Nya. And so this Sa gets substituted by Ru. Then Ru by Y and then this Y is substituted by zero substitution. So we have Shiva plus Yungo Vire. Then Shiva plus Manyante. The input is Shivas plus Manyante and the final output generated is Shiva Manyante following the same procedure. Similarly, we have Shivas plus Ngavante as input. We apply the same procedure and derive the output in the form of Shiva plus Ngavante. Then we have Shivas plus Nakaraha and the output generated following the same procedure is Shiva plus Nakaraha. Then we have Shivas plus Naha is the, as the input and the output generated is Shiva plus Naha following the same procedure where same sutras apply. Then we have Shivas plus Jashaha as the basic input and then the sutras apply and the process happens and the finally derived form is generated namely Shiva plus Jashaha with the zero or deletion of year. Then we have Shivas plus Bharaha as the basic input and the same procedure happens and we get the final output in the form of Shiva plus Bharaha. Then we have Shivas plus Gaghanti as the input and the final output generated is Shiva plus Gaghanti following the same process. Then we have Shivas plus Dhaukante. The same process happens and so we get the final output in the form of Shiva Dhaukante. Then we have Shivas plus Dharaha and the same process is followed and finally we get Shiva plus Dharaha. Then we have Shivas plus Jayaha. The same process happens and finally we get Shiva plus Jayaha as the finally derived output. These are all the Hash and there are the last four over here. Shivas plus Bandhaha, same process happens and the final output generated is Shiva Bandhaha. Shivas plus Gadanti is the next example where Sa is followed by Ga that is Hash and so we get the same process applied and the finally derived form is Shiva Gadanti. Then we have Shivas plus Damaravaha and the same process 
happens and then we get Shiva plus Dhammaravaha as the finally derived form. Then we have Shivas plus Deshaha as the basic input and finally we get Shiva plus Deshaha after we apply all the relevant sutras generating such next steps in the Prakriya as are required for this sutra to apply. So we get Shiva Deshaha as the finally derived form. Similar question can be asked to these examples. Why is there no further Sandhi? Like Deva plus Ahuhu, why is there no Devahuhu? Why Sabarna Dirga Sandhi does not apply? Similarly, Deva plus Iha, why is there no Guna Sandhi? Similarly, Deva plus Edhante, why there is no Vruddhi Sandhi? When stated specifically with reference to Edha, Etedha Tyutsu. Similarly, Deva plus Aushadham, why there is no Vruddhi Sandhi stated by the Sutra Vruddhi Rechi. What it seems is that these are not allowed in the language and these are not explained explicitly as well. So why no further Sandhi? And the answer is because users did not use it. But the question is how does the grammar explain this fact? The grammar explains this particular fact by arranging the sutras in a way where the output of certain sutras is said to not to become the input for the other sutras. The output of the sutra in the Asiddha section for example does not become the input for any previous sutra. So here we see that the output of 8319 0 in place of year does not become the output for 6187 that is guna or 88 and 89 that prescribe vriddhi. And that is why there is no further sandhi as per the explanation of the Paninian grammar as well. To summarize, we studied more substitutes in place of ru which was stated as a substitute of s at the end of a pada. They are y and zero. Several occurrences like samaveta yuyutsavaha, which is split as samavetaha and yuyutsavaha, they can be explained using the sutras that we have studied. So Lopashakalyasya as well as Hali Sarve Sham. Due to the principle of the Asiddha using which the sutras are arranged in the grammar, absence of Sandhi is explained by the grammar. Now we study the remaining examples and other cases which illustrate this particular Swadhi Sandhi more. Let us do it in the next lecture. Thank you for your patience.